Kulkarni here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the calculations for percent yield in a chemical reaction. So, what actually is percent yield? There is a simple formula for percent yield. It is experimental yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. Okay, what do we mean by experimental yield? If you perform an experiment in a lab, what you actually get, the actual yield, that is experimental. And then what is theoretical yield? This is the one which we are going to find out using stoichiometry. So let's do our first problem. Alright, what do we have here? We have methane, it says SDP, that means keep in mind it's gas and that is undergoing combustion reaction. Okay, and of course it's telling you about how much gram is produced actually and what is the percent here. Let's get the reaction first. Methane gas with oxygen is going to give carbon dioxide and H2O. And how do we balance it? I believe it's 2 and that's 2 and we are good. Okay, where is our road map? The beginning point is 32 grams of methane. And where are, we, where are we going? The destination is water. So from here we go to water. Remember again from grams we go to moles. Then we go to moles of water and then we go to grams of water. Alrighty, let's get our grid. And let's begin with given. The given is 32.0 grams of CH4 methane gas. And we start walking towards the moles of methane. We keep on walking till we go to the moles of water. Remember, it's the mole bridge. And then we go from there to grams of water. Once when we have the road map all set, this is simply cancelling the units. So look what I'm doing. I'm just writing diagonally across exactly same unit. This is mole of water. This is mole of H2O. So it's everything same there. Now for plugging in the values remember again when we have a ratio of mole to grams mole is always number one and when it says gram it's always molar mass. So the molar mass for methane gas is 16.05 over here is grams to mole ratio. Mole is again number one and molar mass for water is 18.02. Well, here it is mole to mole ratio. How do you get those values? By looking at the coefficients. So H2O has 2 as a coefficient and methane has no coefficient. That means it is 1. So let's plug those values. And then after you do that plug and check, it's simply cancelling the units and then calculate the, and get the answer. And that answer I'm getting 71.86 so many grams. Now remember this is maximum yield which you can get or the theoretical yield which we have using stoichiometry. We need to find out the percent yield or efficiency. And what is the formula for percent yield? It is actual divided by theoretical yield times 100. So, actual is 30 grams, 30.00 and then your maximum or theoretical yield is 71.86, that times 100 and when we calculate, what do we get? The answer is 41.74%. Okay, that wasn't that difficult, right? Let's do one more problem. Okay, this is a little different, little tricky. What is given to us is reaction is only 74.3% efficient, which is a reality. We never get 100% yield. We usually get yield which is less. So, what's the reaction? It is combustion of octane. So, let's get the reaction first written. Octane is 8 carbon, so it's C8H18. 
it's combustion so it's O2 giving you CO2 and H2O and I'm not going to spend time in balancing because you all know how to balance so here is the answer 25 CO2 uh, 25 O2 I'm sorry 16 CO2 and this is 18 H2O those are the coefficients I'm getting for each of the chemical there alrighty now we only know that 90 grams of liquid octane is burned. So we know the beginning point 90.0 grams of octane. We are finding out the yield for water producing. So let's go from mass of octane to mass of water. Remember again it's grams to mole, mole to mole bridge and then again going to grams for water. Okay. Let's get the theoretical yield using our stoichiometry. So, we have our beginning point 90.0 grams of octane and I'm, I like to prefer to use A if it's a too big formula so I'm going to use 90.0 grams of A and then from A we are going to go to B so before that we go moles of A from moles of A we go to if I consider water as B I am going to moles of B and from moles of B I go to grams of B. Okay. Let's cancel all that. So it's grams of A. This is moles of A. And this will be moles of B. Alrighty. Grams to mole ratio. So this is 1 and this is the molar mass per octane. Which is 114.26. Okay. Now when we come to mole mole ratio mole of A is octane which is 2 and mole of B is water which is 18 and then this is moles to gram so 1 mole and this is the molar mass for water which is 8.02 okay when you solve that I am getting the answer 127.7 gram now remember what we obtain is actually theoretical yield not the actual yield so, how do you find out the real actual yield? Because your percent yield is going to be actual divided by theoretical times 100. So, let's plug that value. 74.3 equals the actual is, which we don't know, so we can put A there and then divide it by 127.7 and that times 100. When you solve that, A, the value for actual yield is 94.88 grams. It's simple algebra and you're able to find out the actual yield of water. So, don't you think it was easy to find percent yield? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.